excuse me. Sorry about that. I always have to close my closet door because I always find it super distracting when the closet door is open in my room. I don't know why it just is very distracting to me. But anyway, hi guys, it's Mina. Welcome back to my channel. Or if this is the very first video that you're seeing of me, then welcome to my channel. Please be sure to hit the subscribe button down below if you didn't already. I post every day of the week for all. And today in this video, I'm going to tell you guys a very frustrating story about how a kid yelled at me on Zoom. So this is in, um, I was helping my mom with her, stu her class and one of her students got impatient and yelled at me on Zoom. And I want to do this video to teach you guys not to let kids yell. If you're a teacher's aide, don't let kids yell at you on Zoom. It's not very appropriate and it's not polite, right? especially when you're trying to help the teacher out. So I hope you guys learn the lesson from this video not to let kids yell at you on Zoom. And plus it is very rude when a kid yells at you at Zoom, on Zoom and it's very disrespectful. So don't let anyone yell at you on Zoom. So I'm gonna get started. So this all started a few months ago. I was helping my mom my mom's students and the kids were doing animal research reports. Reports and as we're, I'm sitting in the the brave, I'm sitting in a regular room with the main room with with six different kids. I think a couple different kids and they're each working in partners on the animal research product. My mom is in a breakout room with a couple students because she's testing them and I am trying to figure out how to and the kids asked to go in breakout rooms to do um to do sorry to do their animal research reports because they're working on part in partners to do the same thing and i said and i said sure I'll let me check so i'm trying to figure out how the breakout rooms do the breakout rooms i have to research it because i couldn't remember how because this is my first time in a while putting breakout rooms together and i could not remember how to do the breakout rooms so i'm trying to figure it out i'm looking at the instructions and one of the kids is getting very impatient. She's go and he's going, what's taking you so long? Blah, 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 blah. I'm like, excuse me, but I'm trying to get the breakout rooms ready. And he's like being very, very rude and demanding. He goes, just put me in a breakout room. And, and I was super offended. I was like, excuse me, but you don't talk to me like that. That, and I was very, very, very offended when that kid rudely yelled at me, rudely yelled at me for um, taking forever to put in the breakout rooms, and then my mom comes into the break to come back to the main room, asking, "Is everything? How's everything going?" And we were like, "Oh, this kid yelled at Mina for," and the kids are tattletaling, not tattletaling, technically telling my mom what one of her students did. Did and this boy, he's very, very, very quiet. And my mom has to talk with this kid and tell him it's not okay for him to be yelling at me like that because. I was, I've been helping my mom and stuff and how I am a big help to her and how she does not appreciate him yelling at me for not putting, for taking forever to put him in the breakout room, room and how he needs to be patient with me because I'm not used to making breakout rooms. And so he, she, she makes him apologize, but it takes him a little while to apologize. And then she started, a, my mom started a rule saying, saying, if you don't apologize, then no one's going to go in a breakout room. And all the kids are begging this kid to go apologize to me for yelling at me at me and then it takes him a while but he finally realizes his mistake and apologizes which I accept and then my mom explains to the kid how he needs to be patient with me and how it's not respectful for him to be yelling at me me for taking so long to put them in the breakout room room and so my mom comes back up to the kitchen to help me get the breakout room set up because I couldn't remember how to do it because it had been a while well, so we get, so once after the apology happens, we get all the kids in a breakout room. And I was super happy that that kid took responsibility for his action. Action. And I was very happy he learned his lesson not to yell. So the moral of the story is don't let a kid yell at you. If you're, if you're being a teacher's aide and you're trying, if you're a teacher's aide and you're trying to help your, t the teacher out and a kid yells at you, it is not respectful because because you're trying to be helpful to the teacher. And if that kid yells at you, it's going to make you not want to help the teacher anymore. <laughs> anymore. And then you have to let the kid know how it's not respectful for them to be yelling at you like that. And then it's important for them to apologize for their behavior. You're because it's not okay when you, when a kid, it's not okay to let a kid yell at you because kids need to show respect for adults. That is so, so don't let anyone yell at you like that. <laughs> 
like that. And if even if they do, make them apologize for it and take responsibility for their actions. Okay, so that was a story about how a kid yelled at me on Zoom one time. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I post every day of the week for all, and I'll see you in a video soon. Bye!